As Naval Ravikant once said, most of life is a search for who and what needs you the most and who and what you need the most. And once you find that fit, it just works. So a common question people ask is, how do you find your passion? Asking how you find your passion makes the assumption that your passion has been lost somewhere. But your passion has not been lost. Your passion has never been developed. Passions are created, they're constructed, they're developed. So passion is not a lightning rod moment. It is not something that's hiding inside of you where you go like, oh, there it is. It is a process and you're an architect, not an archeologist. So there's no passion lurking in you right now, but there are areas of interests. First step, try different things. A great analogy is to taste. A lot of people claim to not like eating oysters. They think it doesn't look very tasty, it's slimy, it's gross. But if you ask them if they've ever tried it, they'll say no. And that's a very important point because you won't know what your favorite food is until you try. So first step, try different things you're going to experience a whole lot of stuff. When you encounter something you find fascinating, engage with it more. As you engage with it, ask yourself, is this turning into a real fascination? If it is, ask yourself a real simple question. Do I want to become the greatest in the world at this? And if the answer is yes, and the thought of that fills you with excitement, winning that gold medal or turning that passion into an extremely profitable business or whatever, and you think, holy crap, this makes me jolt out of bed every morning and I have a hard time sleeping at night thinking about it. And the thought of actually putting in that works kind of cool. Like I want to develop that skill set. After that, you then go through the path of being so good they can't ignore you. So that's my take on it. Peace and love. Turn it off. The reason most people fail is because they give up what they want most for what they want now. People don't fail because they're not talented or skilled or whatever. It's because they give up what they want most for what they want now. Delayed gratification, that's important.